Hi, everybody. Um, I wanted to take a moment and look at the Edgar system for you guys so that you could see really how the system works, how to get around in it, and how to find the information that you are going to need for your project. So uh, one of the things that you can do and that you should be doing for the first part um, when you give me your name is to look and make sure that the company is a publicly traded company. Um, so for one, uh, I'm just going to use Apple as uh, the first example. So I'm going to type in Apple, maybe, uh, and I'm going to do a search. And so all of the stuff kind of comes up, uh, as you can see. And so you do have to find which one you are looking at. And so I'm going to click on that Apple Inc. The next step that you need to look at when doing this is to make sure that they do have a 10K. So you do want to, you know, put in that 10K, sorry, and search for a 10K. Once you find that, you can see if they do have a recent 10K. Um, should be from either 2019 or uh, 2020. Uh, should be the ones that you should be able to find if you don't see one from 2019 or 2020 then they possibly are no longer publicly traded which means that you cannot use that particular company uh, some of the things that i do want to look at here uh, the documents so i can click on documents and then it'll bring me up with this information and then i can click on the 10k and what this does is it shows me a lot of that information that I'm going to need for answering questions that are on that particular project. So uh, this tells me that I am looking at Apple Inc. Um, it was incorporated in California. It gives me their um, address, so they are in California. It gives me their um, employer identification number. This is the exact name. So whatever you see here is the name that you would put down as their name. It also gives me um, any notes that they maybe have or any common stock or anything like that. It gives me the trading symbol. It also tells me where that company is being traded. And this one is on the NASDAQ uh, stock market is where that one's going to be traded. So it does give me a lot of that information. Um, it also comes down and it gives me some other information. Generally speaking, all of these are going to have different items like principal accounting fees or exhibits and financial information, things like that. That is generally in those areas uh, where you can click on these and you can search and you can generally find things about the auditors and who the actual auditor or independent um, company actually is. Um, the other thing, I'm going to go back that I want you to sorry, look at. Um, and so, you know, it does have a lot of all that other information. The other thing I want you to look at are these interactive data. So the interactive data is going to give you the items like the financial statements. And so you can actually look at those um, a little bit differently. Uh, this does also, of course, give some of the information that was on the 10K as well. What I do is I normally download my information into an Excel document. And so what I'll do is I'll do view Excel document. It puts all the information into an Excel document for me. And then I can open up that Excel document. So once I open up that Excel document, what I am looking at is the cover page. I also can find these consolidated statement of operations. So this one is looking at really that income, a lot of the income statement information. And so it gives me my net sales. It gives me 
my gross margin. It gives me my net income. So it's going to give me a lot of that information that I need to complete this particular problem. Um, it gives you earnings per share and stuff like that. I still want you calculating that. I don't want you taking it directly off of this page. So you do need to calculate what those um, different items are. It also gives you um, the shares used in computing. So it tells you how many your basic cells are and gives you other information. Um, all of them are going to be different in what they show you and what they give you. So just realize that also. Um, it gives you comprehensive income. If you continue clicking over at the bottom, it'll give you other information, such as the balance sheet. So for this one, we are looking at um, the current assets are listed, any non-current assets, current liabilities. All of those different things are listed. There are times when you need that average, and so you're going to need this year's and last year's. So it gives it to you, and you can calculate right on the spreadsheet if you need to. Um, so make sure you do those calculations whenever you're doing your ratios. I need to see that you know how to do that calculation. So you can do the calculations on the Excel spreadsheet and if you and then upload the Excel spreadsheet in. But what I would say is put your answer in, if you use the Excel spreadsheet to calculate it, put your answer in your Word document and then um, over to the side of it, say see Excel spreadsheet for calculations. That way I can go and check that you are calculating the information correctly. And then you just uh, upload your um, Word document and the Excel document are the things that you would upload. Uh, you see other things here for consolidated. So you can just kind of go through and see a lot of different information. Now you probably will need to pull out uh, two 10Ks and the information from 10 to, to 10 Ks because you will be needing to do ratios for two years. And so that is going to require you to have three years worth of data. And with that being said, you know, this is giving you, it just depends, like the balance sheet, this 10K gives you two years worth of data. If you go back and pull up the 10K from the previous year, that's going to give you two years worth of data also. So just make sure that you are um, using those because you will need the, the two years. And so to get two years worth of data, you will need to pull two, ten, two of the 10Ks, the last two 10Ks. Um, and again, you can upload the consolidated balance sheets or you know, these items that you've downloaded. You can upload that to Blackboard along with your Word document with those answers. And so that's kind of more or less how that works. Again, um, another company that's really popular for people to do, and I'm not saying that these are the ones that you need to do, I'm just saying that I do see this, um, and I want you to realize that Amazon is not just Amazon. Um, so if we look at Amazon and uh, you go down, you can go down this way and pull up 10K also. Um, the main thing that I want you to realize is that when you are looking at this information, the company's name needs to be this. So Amazon is not just Amazon, it's Amazon.com Inc. is the company's name. It's, you know, in Delaware. I mean, it's got all of this other information. So a lot of the information you're going to be able to get off of this, but some of the information you are going to have to research to, um, to get like um, what is the company's website you may find it on here but there again i mean you can google that and you can find the company's web address and website also so again just make sure that you're doing the trading symbol you do the trading symbol and where it's traded this one's nasdaq global select market um, is what you would put for that particular one so i just wanted to kind of give you a feel of what you were looking at um, also just to show you the differences in the interactive data and how sometimes it does show up a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to view this particular one also. Um, notice it does have, this one, you know, has uh, cash flows first, uh, where the other one didn't have that. Um, then you also would be looking at, you know, the income statement 
for three years, you're looking at, um, this one actually gives you, uh, you know, three years of certain data. Um, sorry, trying to Um, my balance sheet, however, only gives me the two years, so that's why you would need to pull a uh, two 10Ks um, with that. Let's look and see. Um, another one. Just trying to think real quick of a company that maybe isn't going to be listed here. Um, So I'm going to search and I've got Publix here. And so I'm going to pull Publix up. Now, when I pull Publix up, what I'm going to look at here is these documents and they do have a 10K, but I want you to look at something. Do you see stock? Do you see where they're traded? They're not a publicly traded company. So Publix is a company that you would not be able to use, even though you see a 10K, notice, they're, they're not publicly traded. It doesn't give you where, a market. It doesn't give you any of that information. So you cannot use a company like Publix because they're not publicly traded. Um, so I do want to make sure that you know you understand the difference between publicly traded and not publicly traded. You do have to be able to find those 10Ks. Um, so hopefully, you know this helped a little bit um, in what you were looking at. I am going to look at Publix though and kind of show you where I kind of look at person stuff. So this is principal accounting fees services. It does give you some of that information um, here. Um, and you can just kind of scroll through and see if you can find um, any of that other stuff. So this is consent of independent registered public accounting firm is what it states. I'm gonna click on it and see if that tells me anything. What that does, it does. It tells me that KPMG is actually their um, accountant and so that gives me that information so that's what I was saying when you go through and you look at this information you want to go through and look at some of that to be able to find that publicly uh, the the company that does their audits or their company that is their independent public um, accounting firm and so in this case it is KPMG and so I just want to make sure that you do understand that that information you know can be found you know maybe in either the line 14s or 15s or somewhere in in those areas for you to just have to kind of look and dig sometimes to find it sometimes it's just right there and you can find it very easily other times you have to dig a little bit to find it but you do have to have that in there the other thing that i really want to look at and i want to state as far as this problem is concerned sorry All right, so what I wanna look at here is the actual problem real quick. And the reason I wanna look at this is because there are certain things and I've got, you know, where are you getting the information from? So question number one, half page, essay paragraph form, it's worth five points of the whole project, which is worth 50 points. Now this needs to be from your research and it also can come from some of the lecture videos that I have out there. Question number two, you need to look at the lecture video. I am going to give you what these four things are. Um, the PowerPoints I give you show you three. I'm gonna show you how you split one of those into two different types, all right? So you have to use the lecture video to answer that question, which means you have to watch the lecture video. Um, what are the classifications, types of ratios? You need to this those out and explain what they provide. Again, that's on the lecture video. You can pause the lecture video. You can write all of that information down off of the lecture video. Um, for, class, for each classification above, list the ratios that fit within that category. Again, look at the lecture video. It's in those PowerPoints that I use on the lecture video. Use all of those. And number five, that's what I was just going over with the um, Edgar system. I want you to list all of this stuff out just like it is. I want you to come over um, when you're working on it and list the official name of the corporation. So 
Apple Inc. is what you would put. Location of the headquarters, California. All right, this is what I want you to do. I don't want it in paragraph form. I want you to answer these questions. So you come right into this document, you answer the questions. Um, and make sure you answer, you know, all of those items out there. Then for number six, look at the financials for the past three years. That means you need to pull two 10Ks. I want you to do the current ratio. I want you to do the quick ratio, which is also known as the asset test ratio, the debt to asset ratio, the asset turnover ratio, your return on assets ratio, and your earnings per share. Do not just take the earnings per share that is listed on those statements off the 10K. You actually have to work them, all right? Now notice I say you must work out the ratios. Do not just post the final answer. You have to show me those numbers. Now, if you do the ratios in the Excel document, then you can put the answer and then put C Excel document and I can go to the Excel document and I can see that you got and where you pulled those numbers from because you can use formulas and create these ratios. Number seven, I want you to tell what an ideal ratio is going to be for all of those. So current ratio, current ratio needs to be above one. That's an ideal above one, all right? Um, but it may not be the only answer. The other thing you can do is if you don't go through and find those ideal ratios, you can compare it to a similar company. Now the ratios are out there for similar companies. So if you're doing Coca-Cola, you can type in what is the current ratio for Pepsi? What is the current ratio for um, but I mean the quick ratio for Pepsi, what are these items? And you can type that in and then you can compare Coke to Pepsi. You know, I'm just using that as an example, but those are some things that you can compare, you can look at, but you need to look at it. And it's not just giving me Coke's ratio and giving me Pepsi's ratio. You have to do a comparison here. Which one's better? Which, one, which company is doing better if you do the comparison? If you do the ideal ratio, tell me how that company fared with the other stuff. I have comparisons that I do. We talk about it on the lecture video about how the company in the video compares with industry average or with a different company and different things like that. So those are some of the things that you wanna look at. The last part is a works cited page or a work cited area. You need to go in and you need to tell me where did you get your information from, all right? So for this first one, whatever your research, whatever you're getting, cite it. If you get it from, you know, wherever you get it from, the textbook, wherever, okay? When you research, cite your information here and then on your work cited page. Most of this stuff is coming from lecture videos. You don't have to cite the lecture video. But outside sources, your textbook, things like that, you do need to, to, um, to cite. You can cite your um, Edgar for your 10Ks and all of that. When you get ready to look at your ideal ratios, where did you get the information from? Or if you're using a different uh, a competitor, similar company, then you give me you know, where you got that information from on your work cited page. So that's what we're looking at as far as this project is concerned. Hopefully this helps out and helps you understand more about what you're doing for this particular project.